what is up everybody it's the bearded man sorry about that that was really weird what i just did there um coming to you again with another video hope you all have an amazing day hope you all enjoy the video if you do hit the like button and subscribe if you want to see more of my content blah 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 that was rushed <laughs> anyway um yeah let's get right into this well we just got some more people that's great um research I want heavy laser. Heavy, heavy, heavy laser. Where is it? Heavy laser. Start project. Accolate some people to it. Yes. Alright. Okay, we got some more troops. This this is great. We're getting tons of people, tons of troops, all that greatness. Uh, let's also, yeah, do that. And let's speed up. Very small, very high. We might not be able to get that one. Let's try anyway. Go to last known position. Yep. Interceptor, select new target. Get him. Get him. Yes. Now if we can just shoot it down before it runs away. This is one of the really small ones. It will probably just evaporate into nothingness but oh no nope, it crash landed good uh we have craft equipped with get more laser rifles and get less rifles all right okay what we're gonna do now is we're gonna send Sky Ranger out, and we might show you guys a night mission, so you can get accustomed to them. Yep, night mission. Alright, night missions are super dangerous. We could all die from just a little sectoid. If this is a sectoid, we could all just be ended, because he could just hide in the darkness, and we could never see him, and he can just be like, da -da -da -da, if he's really, like, a super pro. But, I digress. It's a lot of clips. You don't need all those magazines, whatever. Oh, what? Okay. Don't need all those when we have laser weapons. Uh, we do need these stun batons, though. Because I might go for an alien this time. Let's give one to one of these, like, like one of the expendable... Well, they're not expendable. Everyone is good, but, you know, let's let's give some of these to people that we wouldn't be too hurt over losing. Yeah, this is a night mission, by the way. We can see very little. Oh, there's the craft. Which means he could just uh, shoot us right now without us knowing. Right in the back. Mainly because this night missions are really dangerous. Like, uh, I will not stress how dangerous these missions are. Okay, we can't see anything yet, so that's good. I'm sending one unit in. Okay, he's behind the craft then. It's good to know. You had more shots left over. Hmm? That's not so good. Okay. Well, let's see. Who has a stun baton? You do. Alright. Like, this is going to be risky. We're probably going to lose quite a few troops trying to capture this alien. But if we can capture him, then we can interrogate, and we can get a lot of knowledge out of him, but... Yeah. <laughs> like I said, there's a lot of risk to it, too, because we have to risk our units dying, like, very badly. We still can't see him. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Where are you? He took two of us out. And shot at us again. 
This is probably like one of the worst tactics anyone has ever seen anyone ever do. But uh yeah. Oh, it's a snake man. Oh, okay. Okay. This explains why he's so dangerous. But die. We're not even going to try and take you in. I didn't know you were a snake man. You know what? If no one kills you, then maybe we'll try and take you in for this next uh next round. But I think somebody's going to kill you. So fire. Yep. Oh. Snapple, that's not good. Andrea, go over here. He's probably going to take another one of us out. I said probably because snake men are pretty dangerous. Yeah, that's three people for one snake man. That's not great conversion rates. I don't like that, but hey, you know, it happens. We lose units all the time here in XCOM. Ugh, I hate snake men. Yeah, that was for one unit and we lost that many. Uh No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> but we did get a bunch of people. Fred Poole got promoted to Colonel. Andrea the Great got promoted to Captain. Everyone else, these two random people got promoted to Sergeant. Don't know who they are. Um, yeah. So that happened. <laughs> uh, let's, let's get some more uh, scientists. Let's get ten more scientists. And you know what, ten more engineers too. Yep. Speed up. Mm. Okay, five seconds. We're gonna go in. We're gonna go to manufacture. We're gonna s put more people towards the manufacturing of these uh, amazing guns. And the research people, you know, we might put more people into... I can't remember what it is that you need. I think it's alien alloys. I can't remember, though, that you do. And you can get a... No, we're going to look up alien alloys, yeah. It's fine. Put ten people into it. We got a bunch of different people working towards different things right now, but... Hey! It's better than nothing. Um, equip craft. We need to equip the Sky Ranger with more people again. Because we lost three people. We're going to put a lot of people in there this time. And we're going to get rid of all of the rifles and all the clips, and we're just going to put in laser weapons. All the stun batons, all the electro flares, and yeah. There we go. Let's do this. Missile production done. Research complete. Plasma rifle clip. We're going to allocate more people towards... Um, the heavy laser, and then we're gonna go and put some more towards uh, alien alloys. Alright, there we go. Heavy laser. Alright. Now, more people towards alien alloys. We have 40 people going towards that now. Uh, allocate manufacture. We're gonna take everyone out of that. New production, heavy. Units to produce... I guess we could do two. Okay. Take one day. Well, a day and... Uh, basically two days, but... Oh, oh, oh. Alright. Let's do it, Sky Ranger. Let's do it. This is gonna be dangerous. We're gonna lose people. Especially if it's what I think it might be. Let's do it! Two terror missions and two missions, yep. Let's do it though. Let us do this. Okay, we're gonna give everyone a stun rod. Just because if we have stun rods, at least maybe maybe we'll get lucky on the off chance that we'll get an alien. Like to be silly and let us capture them. That'd be awesome. 
I don't think that's going to happen, but it would be awesome if it did. Alright, let's do this. Okay, crouch. Okay, there's nothing that way then. Crouch. Sending our more veteran units out first to secure the area. Crouch. Mm. We already see. Oh, Cyberdisc. Oh, why? Okay, we hit it. We hit it. Oh, snap the giant pill. The giant pill. I don't want the giant pill. We need to destroy that pill, like, so quickly. Destroy the pill. Yes. Those things are dangerous. That's one of the reasons why. <laughs> they explode into pieces and destroy everything near them. But they're really dangerous just because they do tons of damage. They can just wipe your units out. It's, it's so bad. So bad. But at least we got rid of it. At least we did. Go, my rookies. Go. <laughs> You're probably all going to die, but hey, you know, be positive about it. <laughs> all right. See what happens. Oh, I'm nervous. They're killing people off pretty... This, this is probably sectoids. If I remember correctly, those, uh... Those... Pill thingies. Uh, cyber discs. That's what they're called. Um, they come with sectoids, if I remember correctly. Which, take in mind, all these aliens that we've seen so far are not the most dangerous alien. The most dangerous aliens, by far, are the ethereals. And why? It's just because they could take over our minds and use our units against us and just, just all sorts of bad things happen. Like, all the time. Move out. Move out. Still don't see anything yet, which is kind of dis disheartening, I should say. Don't like not seeing the enemy. There's one. He may have just killed all of our units, depending on what he put that timer at. Ah, oh, snap. Hate sectoids so much sometimes. Yes! That's payback for my units that you're about to blow up. Oh, that's a bad conversion rate. One for, one for four units, I'm pretty sure, is what that's going to be, but... That was mind control. Or at least they're trying to panic my units. That's really bad. Oh, oh, this just changed everything. Ah, uh, there's a sectoid commander somewhere. Oh, this is so bad. Things have just went so bad. Things have gone so bad. Run! <laughs> oh man, we've just lost so many people. We have people panicking and just not good. This is not good. We've lost soldiers. They have mind control happening. Oof. Really bad things are happening. I don't like. We see one. Crouch down. Take your shot. If that's the commander, please take him out. Because we don't need to be mind controlled really really don't need to be mind controlled do it Fredpool save our units 
Because we really need them saved right now. It's missing. It's missing. Oh, snap. Come on. Come on. Okay. Okay, everybody missed. Not so good. Snapshot. See if you can hit it. Oh, wow. That was a really good shot. <laughs> oh, I hate grenades. Alien grenades. Took out all units. Took out a lot of our units in one little go, which is dangerous because now we have to deal with cyber discs and all that junk. Plus that mind control. Oof, that mind control freaks me out. It freaks me out. See? There it goes again. And they can do that like every single turn, and they don't even have to see us, and they can do that. It's so bad. So bad. You have no idea. You'll see later in this playthrough how bad that can get. Oh, man. Please, okay, she's still panic. Oh, no, no, no. Please be a horrible shot. Whew. Okay. I don't mind you shooting at nothing, Brent Blake, Mr. Gone Berserk over here. You see how dangerous mind control is? Man, that's crazy. Okay, you see one. Cyber disc. Oh! I love how you could destroy us without, like, mmm, that's annoying. But alright, let's do this. Take them down. Hopefully, because these things are so dangerous too. They're not the most dangerous things in the game, but they're dangerous nonetheless. Okay, okay. You hit. You hit again. Boom! That's great. Because we've already lost enough units to these aliens. Like, we've lost a lot of units to these aliens so far. <laughs> it's really bad. And we need to find that alien commander, though. The, the sectoid commander, because he is doing that. That is really annoying. There's nothing to tell him apart, if I remember correctly. There's nothing to tell him apart from the other sectoids, but... Yeah. Oh, okay, you gone berserk. That's fine. That is so fine, because you have nothing to do. Like, you have nothing on you to, like, do any sort of damage to us. So I'm 100% fine with that. see nothing in there. Alright. Well, then we're gonna move down this direction again. You see something. Oh, another cyber disc. These dang things. Hopefully we'll destroy it. One shot. Wow. That was actually really impressive. Well, things are going eh, as I expected for a, for a terror mission, but uh, they could be worse. They they definitely could be worse, and she needs to stop panicking and freaking out because she's not helping anyone right now. She she is definitely not. Uh oh, he switched mind control targets. He's trying to panic the rookie. Oh no. Okay, she just panicked. Okay, that's good. I thought she was going to go to Berserk and shoot Fred Poole in the back there and just end him right now. That would have been bad. Moving forward. Crouch. She has no more turns, which is fine by me. All these rookies. Ooh, there's two. There's two. You are going to take shots into them because 
one of those might be the commander, and if you kill him, we could easily win this compared to when he's still alive. Uh, wow. That could have been so much worse. Let's see if you can do it. Do it! Two down. Brent Blake has two kills under his belt. I really hope that was the commander. Because if it was, then the mind control can stop. Please have been the commander. Please have been the commander. Ooh. We see one. That might have been the commander, too. I don't think those two were the commander, though. They had heavy-looking weapons. I can't remember, but I think the commanders don't usually use heavy weapons, but... I can't remember. <sighs> we're losing operatives left and right. People are dying, too. You panicked again. Alright, you dropped your gun. That's fine. You're gonna be... Decoy. Exactly. <laughs> I think we may have actually killed the commander. So that kind of makes me a little bit happier. Because we didn't see any mind control that, that turn. We may have killed the commander, which is great if we did. If we didn't, then... First off, who shot her? I can't see them through all this smoke, so I don't trust it, so... Running away! I do not trust not seeing the enemy. We're gonna wait for that smoke to clear. And hopefully, hopefully, we got rid of that commander, because if we did, then... Oh, what are you doing? Get over here. Crouch down. If we got rid of the commander, then that's great, because now they can't control our minds and mess with us. Anyone who survived the mind control and the panicking and all that stuff will have it... They, they build up a natural tolerance to it, which is great, because... Yeah, mind control. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> uh, no good, I should say. I don't know. Hmm. <sighs> Alright. You. We really need you to pick up your weapons. We need you to move out. Because you're like our ace shot here. Like... Oh, wow, no, you're not, not right now, because your health is super low for some reason. You have a fatal wound. Why do you have a fatal wound? Oh, the grenade messed with you. Oh. Andrea the Great might die from fatal wounds. If we don't clear this up soon. And you, you still can't see anything. I don't like that. Can't see anything. Because of all this smoke, there's just smoke everywhere. It's bad. It's really bad. Uh oh. Didn't mean to move that much, but hey. Worked out, I guess. Crouch. How many more people inside the craft do we have? We have two more people that are rookies. Aw, oh, snap. Also, sorry if I just, like, randomly say random things. I am a very, very scatterbrained type person with what I say. So if I say something that's, like, just completely weird or anything, then it's because I'm just not thinking about what I'm saying at all. <laughs> because my brain is all over the place when I'm talking. Um... Why, I'm not so sure, but it just is. Always is. Always has been. Okay, there's an alien over there, then. We've never shot over there, I'm pretty sure, so... Let's move forward. Ooh! Dang! We're just getting decimated out here right now. I want to see that guy. 
Can't see him yet. We are just getting decimated, though. Dang. Just left and right, an XCOM unit goes down. Mm, I really should get some med packs. Really should. At least the mind control stopped. We got the commander. Ooh, he has a heavy plasma. I'm glad he just wasted his turn. I'm really glad he did because now we can uh, probably, probably take him out and not deal with him. Alright. Let's see if you can see him. You can't because I think he's hiding behind cover. I think he is anyway. Well, we're going to crouch because I don't trust it. Send the rookie down. I know he's not going to make it all the way down here, but... Oh, wow, he actually did. With some time units to spare, too. That's actually really impressive. Ah, oh, the smoke is making it so difficult. So many things stacking against us right now. <laughs> We might lose everybody in this mission. Yeah. Oh, snap. He's running. He's running. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't die just now, Fred Poole. I really am. That was a heavy plasma to the face. Most of our units can't even survive the, the regular plasma. Like, let, let's see. What What's your health? Three fatal wounds. You're going to bleed out if we don't finish this soon. That's not good. So let's try and finish this as soon as possible. Okay, we got rid of one. There's at least one more alien. At least. And we may have just found him. Say so may have because I'm not sure. Let's hope this person can hit. Taking the aliens down. Alright. Andrea's bleeding out. Not great. There's still more aliens, which is bothering me because we can't see them. We don't see anything that way either. Our units are going to die if we don't get rid of these... Found you. Or may have found you. You might be the last one, and if you are, Andrea just took you down. Let's hope you're the last one, because our units are kind of dying right now, and we really need to address that. You weren't the last one. <sighs> she just about died. She legit just about died. Because if that had hit, she would have insta-died. Let's hope this is the last guy, because if he is, we're taking him out. You know what? I'm taking you out with a stun rod. Boom. Ugh. That was so bad. Let's shoot all the way through here. Go. See if you see anything else. We won, I think. Yes. Oh, that was so difficult.
We lost so many good units. Look at this. Six XCOM operatives dead. Dang. <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot of XCOM operatives done. Hmm. That is a lot of XCOM operatives done. Wow. And you're the great and Fred Poor are both wounded. They're wounded for 14 days for hit for Fred Poor. And for Andrea, 35. Wow. Mmm, they survived though. So let's speed up a little bit. Speed up, speed up. We got a little bit of a plus. Some people are happy with us. Russia's not happy with me though. Russia's just like, hey. Why well, you ain't protecting us? And I'm like, we're trying our best. <sighs> oh man, we're gonna buy more soldiers now though. We we really are. Because uh, that was a lot of units to die in one little... Oh, I hit cancel instead of purchase. Okay. Anyway... That will about do it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I think that was actually a much longer video than usual, but I hope you all enjoyed it. It's a bearded man. Hope you all have an amazing day, and stay tuned for more videos. See ya, peoples.